we go to the next film, which I will say out of this, out of all of them, this one I could watch as a time waster because it doesn't involve too much for the video game as the other films did. And that's Resident Evil Extinction. And what I liked about this one, this one had a fucking ending at least. Which a lot of people didn't like this ending. That's why they did another one. Which they, the ending for this made no sense. When they, when they opened up to the next film afterwards. Recorded to shotguns. <laughs> this year, but this one's Resident Evil Extinction. Basically, zombie film meets Mad Max. Good idea. Okay. I know you didn't like the film at all. I'm glad I hated it, right? <laughs> yeah. Your silence says it all, basically. Yeah, these Resident Evil movies are just... <laughs> Matt's speechless. He just he has no words. Just... Like, now all of a sudden, everything's a fucking desert. Until the next two films. Well, yeah, in the next <laughs> film, nothing is a desert. Yeah. Even though supposedly the whole world's a desert. Yeah. And then this is, I think, where she gets the Luke Skywalker powers and... <laughs> Now oh, she's a fucking Jedi. <laughs> yeah, the makes that has force powers to make Luke Skywalker cream his pants. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I said I stole that from the best, of course. I just uh... <laughs> really. I mean, I'm just... fucking mighty ups, and well, this did Lyndon Ashby, and it, and then he dies. Fucking old Ed Fair, he dies because he gets bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was trying to be Mad Max, and the only Mad Max I want to watch is the World War, to be honest. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I guess there's some good directing by Russell Mulcahy, mm-hmm. but I don't know. I just, I don't know. I mean, it's not the worst of them. Mm-hmm. It's not the worst of the Resident Evils. It's just... I'm a fan of the games, and they're nothing like the games, so what the course, fuck they call Resident Evil in the first place? I know, these, these are just fan fiction films, basically. Exactly. The definitive, the definitive Resident Evil film has yet to be seen, I mean. Yeah. I mean, now, after the last film, I think, I think, while well, Simon Anderson, I think the cinema snob said it best, he's becoming a big-budget version of Bruno Matai. <laughs> because if you look at his last Resident Evil film, you can understand, because... You have a computer that did this and that and fucked up everything. Kind of like Skynet from Terminator, right? You have a uh, liquor that does cocoons and kidnaps a little girl. And our lead, a woman, has to rescue the little girl from the liquor with the cocoons. <laughs> so, pretty much, Bruno Matai. Big exactly. controversy. Really. I think his, his, his best films are... Or, uh, Res- or, not Resident Evil, sorry, uh, Mortal Kombat and Vent Horizon. And I would even say Soldiers is the last good one. Really. Because everything else is just, well, he's got to do these movies for his woman. If not, she don't, he don't get no pool tank pie, basically, you know. So she can't give him the pole position. <laughs> no. Basically. <laughs> can't, can't give him the pole position. Yeah. She doesn't she do that. can play with his joystick, yeah. <laughs> That's why he's doing all this shit, obviously. He can, he can get some nookie pie. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I just remember your rant on this movie. This is when we said all that shit. Yeah. Fucking Resident Evil movies. <laughs> so she could give him the ball. <laughs> I just remember the way you said that shit. Say so what? These people are like, what are you talking about? Because Matt did a rant a little time ago when he yelled about afterlife. And he said, look, the, that Boston Anderson does all this shit just so so he can get the pool and time plan from his wife, you know, Mila Jovovich or whatnot, the fan fiction character, Alice, so she could give him the pole position. <laughs> so so he could she could play with his joystick and, and Boston Anderson could play with ours. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I'm his best friend. I'm also his biggest fan. You see, I can't <laughs> <laughs> he cra- 
cracks me up, folks. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I do the same thing for him. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, I'm <clears throat> talking about these yeah, just like now. <laughs> <laughs> you remember saying that, so you're laughing. <laughs> I do now. I, I didn't remember until you said it. I don't basically, remember my folks. Post. Basically, folks, Mila Jovovich is going to show up to our house and give us the pole position for not for hating them this film much. <laughs> What's a pole position? Look it up online. You find out what it is. <laughs> oh, God. If I was a woman with a strap on, <laughs> Jesus, like, ah! Anyway. Oh, God. But I could watch this film I'll as strap. a time waster or whatnot, but it's not the definitive Resident Evil film. The first film, I remember not caring much for because I thought it was boring. The zombies were just boring. The CGI was boring. The score was nice. I liked the score, which I think, who was it, Marilyn Manson or somebody did it, I think? The or first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah I liked the, the score. I know that was the very first horror movie to come out right after 9-11. That's why I made a shitload of money. Yeah, Part of me would love yeah. to see what Romero's version would have been. Yeah. But they they turned down his script. Yeah. That's sad. Or whatnot. I think maybe because of Resident Evil the reason why he landed there didn't make no money, maybe. So I been. always had a I always had a theory behind that, maybe. <laughs> like, wow, they let they let them get away with Resident Evil, but yet they wouldn't let him get away with Dead Reckoning, which became Land of the Dead. Yeah. Oh. Um, that's tough. And he, and he he had to follow the film right after the remake of his film. <laughs> maybe that's what got people, yeah. yeah, maybe that's why got people confused. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's what happened, you know. Bad mis bad bad, you know, confusion and stuff. 